So in order to troubleshoot these logic gates, uh, these integrated circuits, we're going to use what we call logic probes. And logic probes are really great because what we actually do is set a, uh, we set the probe, this is the probe itself, to one of the pins, and then we can actually see if it's going low or high. Really good tool, better than the DMM. Because remember, on a digital circuit, we basically are using voltages in zero to five volts. So why would we really need a DMM? Well, DMM still come in handy when you're trying to trace out a wire that actually is broke. So keep that in mind that when we troubleshoot uh, digital logic gates or any logic or digital circuitry, we're gonna use a logic probe. A good example of this is, let's say we have this IC right here and we want, and we have some inputs here, but nothing's happening on the output here. What we can do is take this logic probe and put it to these inputs. So if we have a zero, one, zero, we should see it as ground, a no voltage, or the light should be red on the logic probe. This one should go green, which means a high, and this one should be a, a zero again, or meaning a low. But let's say that's all working fine. Now what we could do is we could check to see if we have ground and we have uh, power. A lot of times something happens where one of the traces break and then we don't got any power to, the, to, to this integrated circuit. The other thing we can do is check to see what's going on in this output right here. So we'll take the logic probe and put it right out here and test to see what really is going on at this point right here. So that's the true way of actually testing it. That's one way, it's not really a true way, it's one way to test it. The true way of really testing any circuit is number one is using your senses. Number one is look for heat. If your chips are really starting to, you, know, are, you get that thermal, uh, that thermal image coming off of it, or you put your finger to it and it gets it's toasty hot, you have something going on wrong with that chip. That chip is not supposed to get hot. Only chips that are supposed to get hot are driver chips, and that is even very, very rare. So if, number one, if a chip actually gets hot. Number two is smell. If it's getting hot, it's going to start smelling. Well, don't go smelling too long because that's not too healthy. But there's a second one, the discoloration discoloration around the chip itself and around the wires of the leads. So again, always take a look and see what you can uh, look at, feel, and smell before you actually start probing around. Because a lot of times what will happen is that that chip, there's some sort of short going on. What I mean by that is maybe we have a short that's going from here to number six, or maybe we're going from number uh, four, uh, 14 to number three or four, or even to ground right here, and we're shorting out this chip. So a lot of things can happen. Things drop into it. So keep that in mind when you're troubleshooting. Final part of chapter three actually gets into what we call the international symbols. I want you to read that section, but it's important to understand it as, you, as we continue to go into a, into a society that's, uh, that's, world, that's um, worldwide, if you want to call it, let's call it that worldwide where everybody's working together. And the international symbols are great because just because you don't know somebody else's language, you can, that symbol is international, meaning if you're in China, if you're in Japan, or if you're in the United States, you can actually understand that symbol. Um, so you don't have to understand their language, you have to understand the symbol. And so if you need to do some troubleshooting and you got those symbols, it's easier to do some troubleshooting. And finally, we're gonna get into some practical applications of latch gates, and that's building them. I'm gonna actually do a lecture video on, uh, on this, where I'm gonna use multi-SIM to develop some AND gates, NOR gates, whatever it is. I'm gonna put something together and I'm gonna show you what simulated uh, gates, multiple gates do in the output. So we'll get to that very shortly. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Thank you.